Assalamualaikum. My name is Wan Hazi. My name is Nur Azati. My name is Muhammad Irfan Haris. My name is Nurul Atini, and we are from Sekolah Menengah Sains. Tengku Muhammad Haris Petra. Hari sebentar with the chemical formula CF10, PO46 OH2 has been acknowledged as a bone drug material due to its similarities with the mineral fraction of natural bone and teeth. It is a major bioactive component of bone that stimulates osteoconduction and high biocompatibility with living tissue. Several synthetic methods have been applied to prepare hydrosepatite such as expeditious microwave irradiation, chemical precipitation, emulsion technique and hydrothermal reaction. However, when the synthetic process involves high cost and is biologically unsafe, people tend to other options which are environmental friendly, easy to obtain and cheaper. Natural biological reservoirs such as eggshells, tree scales, fish bone, bovine bones are major sources for obtaining hydrosepatite. This study illustrates the preparation and processing parameter of hydrosepatite from a different bio waste that is fish scale. Fish waste, especially fish scale, is important to our environment since it is dumped in the open atmosphere, particularly in the coastal areas. Hence, Fish waste management is facing a big problem in the disposal of this waste. The extraction of hydrosepatite from fish kill not only increases the potential biomedical applications, but also reduces the environmental pollution. Fish kill contains many valuable organic and inorganic components, mainly collagen, hydrosepatite, connective tissue proteins, water, and other proteins. The use of hydrosepatite has resolved many problems related to the medical field, but is expensive, reaching hundreds of thousands of ringgit, causing the hydrosepatite application to be somewhat limited. Financially, hydrosepatite from waste can reduce problems related to the price because it is cheaper and easily available. Furthermore, the utilization of waste from fish scales is able to solve the problem of environmental pollution. Each year, it is reported that 18 to 30 million tons of fish waste are dumped around the world. What is worrying is the waste dumped openly, especially in coastal areas, consists of fish scales, which indirectly can harm the environment when the substance rots and creates a foul smell. In addition, there are also implications of dubious handling of animal sources, including dubious legal status of the use of hydrozapatite based animal bones. Marine sources, like the fish scales, can be used without misgiving, especially for Muslims. The selection of hydrozapatite fish scales can be used as an alternative source of income. Researches of hydrozapatite material from bones of cattle have been done, but not many researches are done where the study of hydrozapatite of fish scales is concerned. Hence, this study is important and relevant because there have been no research conducted to study the scales in terms of features and performance. Our objective is to obtain hydrosepatite compound extract from fish scale using sintering with alkali treatment at high temperature. Next, we want to find out the characterization of hydrosepatite fish scale using FTIR and XRD analysis. First of all, we need to prepare the fish scale sample. For the cleaning process sample, Fish scales are initially soaked and washed with distilled water to remove salt, blood, and dirty material. The process of removing protein fish scales is carried out by washing the material using 0.1 mol per liter hydrochloride and rinse several times with distilled water. After that, the fish scales are allowed to dry overnight in laboratory. Sample of fish scales are then ground using blender mechanically to produce sample of fish scales in form of powder. Next, the production of hydrosepatite. The proteinization is done by treating fish scale using sodium hydroxide with different concentration of 0.25 mol per liter and 5.0 mol per liter for 1 hour at 100 degrees Celsius. During the treatment process, the mixture is stirred using a mechanical stirrer to become homogeneous. The time of the sample hydrosepatite dissolved in solution of sodium hydrochloride is observed and recorded. Then, the mixture is left at room temperature for an hour and neutralized using hydrochloride to achieve a solution pH of about 7. The hydrochloride solution is filtered using a vacuum to pump and rinse three times with distilled water. Before the filtration process is carried out, the solution is allowed to precipitate. Then, the hydrosepatite sample was dried at 60 degrees Celsius in hot air oven for two days before the hydrosepatite is weighed. 
the hydrous appetite fish scale are then treated, are subsequently sintered in laboratory furnace at 1200 degrees Celsius to produce pure hydrous appetite. FTIR analysis result shows the functional groups of collagen in the raw fish scale. In the treated fish scales, the functional groups of collagen have completely disappeared. It shows that sintering at 1200 degrees Celsius is able to eliminate all collagen from raw fish scales, treat hydrospectite, and the presence of functional groups OH and PO. Diaphragm XRD shows the peak of hydrospectite fish scales sintered at 1200 degrees Celsius, well matched by standard diaphragm XRD hydrospectite. It shows that poor hydrospectite is formed. The marketability of hydrous appetite fish scale, such as reduce the importation of products, eco-friendly, low cost, and most importantly, halal and safe. From this research, the production of hydrous appetite from fish scales was proved by FTIR and SRD analysis. The results of this study are very useful in the medical field, especially in the making of fiber bone and as a source of calcium.